As you can see right here inside of one of my stock market brokerage accounts, I pretty much on a daily basis buy realty income consistently day after day after day. Now this is so much to the point to where if you look right here on my dividend tracker, you can see that across all my portfolios combined, as of filming this video at least, I currently have around 2,831 shares of realty income. Now in this video, we're going to talk about realty income, the monthly paying dividend rate, and I'm going to explain to you exactly how I receive 14 shares of realty income absolutely free on a monthly basis as a 31 year old dividend growth investor. Now, if you personally hold realty income or ever plan on holding it, make sure to stick around, drop a like down below and let's get right into it. I just finished my brand new dividend investing ebook where I share exactly how I went from zero to now over seven figures invested and also on how I earn more than $6,000 per month in dividends. I also finished my custom dividend tracker that you can use to track your dividend income progress on an ongoing basis. So make sure to grab yourself a copy of my dividend investing ebook and the new dividend tracker today it's the first link in my description so before anything else what is realty income well realty income is the monthly dividend company it says it right here on the website realty income is also part of the s p 500 dividend aristocrat index and realty income is a REIT or a real estate investment trust that currently owns and cash flows from 13,250 different properties and speaking of cash flow, Realty Income has de declared and paid 643 consecutive common stock dividend payments over the last 55 years. Now, I, of course, can make a whole video on why I love Realty Income stocks so much. And I definitely have talked a lot about Realty Income across my channel. So definitely check out some of my other videos if you haven't already. But here's the absolute basics. I love realty income because I love real estate. I own physical real estate outside of the stock market, and I think real estate is a great wealth generation tool. On top of that, I would consider myself more of an income focused investor that's striving to not only live off my dividend income, hopefully within the next few years here, but also I would say that cash flow is a very, very important metric to me. So once again, that makes sense on why I love real estate so much. Now you might be asking, well, if you love real estate so much and you want exposure to real estate, then why don't you just buy more personal real estate outside the stock market and outside of REITs? And that's honestly a pretty good observation. But I will say this, at least from my experience, with the amount of money that I have to deploy as far as real estate goes, I'm not able to buy super, super large deals as of right now, unless I buy into some sort of syndication or something. So at least with the budgets that I'm working with right now, it makes much more sense to invest into a super high quality REIT that has exposure to things like Wynn Resort, LA Fitness, Lifetime Fitness, 7-Eleven, Dollar Tree, and more all with the simple click of the button through one of my brokerages on a daily basis. Now, that being said, I'm not saying that I won't also buy some more real estate outside the stock market in the future, but at least for now, I'm extremely, extremely bullish on realty income. I'm also a huge fan of realty income because of course, long-term, at least historically, realty income stock price has gone up substantially. The stock is up 543% on the max time frame, not even including dividends. Inside note here, Realty Income is still trading towards the lower end over the last 52 weeks, so Realty Income is still a buying opportunity, at least in my point of view. Now, I talked about the fact that I would consider myself somewhat of an income-focused investor, or at least meaning that I'm not necessarily a growth investor. And for that reason, I love the fact that Realty Income is offering a starting dividend yield of 5.79%. Now, side note, I've been buying Realty Income over the last several years, so my average cost per share is, is actually above what Realty Income is trading as of currently, but I do sell cover calls and Realty Income has paid me substantially financial dividends over the past several years. But something came to mind to me as recently when I was going through my portfolio and tallying up how many shares of realty income I currently had because every now and again I go through my master dividend tracker and I input any new shares that I purchased or of course sold over the past week or so. And side note, you can grab yourself this same exact dividend tracker and track your own progress. It's the first link down below in my description. But I was going through my dividend tracker and I was tallying up how many shares of ticker symbol O I currently have. And side note, I'm trying to gather as many shares of realty income as well as SCHD and other dividend payers pretty much on a daily basis here across my portfolios. But as of current, at least, I have an estimated 2,831 shares of ticker symbol O. So knowing that, I was looking a little bit deeper into what Realty Income is paying now, at least on an annual payout, and of course, what Realty Income declared as of their most recent dividend. And speaking of Realty Income, did declare a 25.65 cent dividend per share, which is paid monthly right now which is even up compared to what Realty Income paid a few months back. So then what I went ahead and did naturally was I added up 2831 times 25.65. Then what I found out is that with the amount of shares of Realty Income, ticker symbol below that I currently have across my portfolios, I'm currently earning around $726.15 every single month. Now, because at least as of filming this video, Realty Income is currently trading at around $52 per share, 
Realty income's dividend that's paid to me on a monthly basis, at least as of right now. And again, side note, I hope Realty income does do another dividend increase sometime soon here, which they've been doing dividend increases basically every few months now, which, which is absolutely amazing, especially because I am gathering a lot more shares at this point. But with what Realty income is paying currently in dividends and, and having just over 2,800 shares, if we were to take the dividend income of 726 divided by $52, which is how much Realty income costs, that means I could basically purchase about 14 shares of Realty income free and clear every single month right now if I were to just reinvest the dividends back into more shares. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you know that I do not have drip turned on across any of my portfolios because I'd much rather just get the cash balance from the dividends into my cash balance, portion throughout all my portfolios, then use that cash balance and deploy it whenever I feel fit. But regardless, if Realty Income, for whatever reason, stays tra trading where it is currently at around 52 bucks per share, Realty Income's dividend currently at $726 could buy me around 14 shares of Realty Income every single 30 or so days. Now, that means that if I was just reinvest the dividend on a monthly basis and buy around 14 shares of Realty Income, which of course pay around $3.08 per year, that means on a monthly basis, I'm getting a yearly raise as far as dividend income of $43.01 of extra dividend income that I'm not even paying for. This is not from money from a deposit. This is not from money from my active income from my job. This is purely from what Realty Income is paying me and me reinvesting the dividends in theory. And then what's even crazier about that is that every month that I get a $43 raise yearly from my new shares of Realty Income, as far as new dividends that are paid, the amount is going to keep going up and up because the compounding effect is taking place. Because you see over time, the goal is to not have 2,831 shares of Realty Income. The next goal would of course be to have, let's say 2,850 shares of Realty Income or a longer term goal to have 20 2,900 or 3,000 shares of Realty Income. And at that point, every single share of Realty Income will be paying me the 25.65 cents per month, which of course can buy me more shares and then buy more shares and then buy more shares. And you get the idea here. Now, I'm not making this video to brag about how many shares of Realty Income I have. Obviously, there's tons of investors even here on YouTube that have way, way, way bigger portfolios than mine across the entire spectrum. But I share all this information with all of you, especially if you're just starting off investing, just to know that if you buy a share here and there for years and years and years, then reinvest the dividends and dump as much money as possible into high quality assets like Realty Income is, in my opinion, anyone has the potential to build out a big portfolio if they just stay the course long enough. Now, because I'm currently a 31 year old dividend growth investor, that's my plan right here, especially over the next nine or so years to continue to build out all the positions in this portfolio. And like I said, at some point, I might start taking some of the dividend income, which is around $6,6100 per month currently on average and use some of the income for bills or other things. But as of right now, I am in pure expansion mode and we are building this portfolio as fast and as big as possible, at least within my ability. But when it comes to realty income or building out a position through the power of compounding, I want to hear from you guys down below. What is the number one stock or ETF that you're buying consistently that you're also getting paid dividends then reinvesting that money into more shares of whatever it is? Drop the ticker symbol in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like and a subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by and if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.